I'm James Lawrence Cross, Sr. Um, I'm the president of Cross Marine Projects. My name's uh, Nigel Crook. I'm a senior geophysicist with Hydrogeophysics, and uh, we're out here on uh, Lake Utah doing a streamer resistivity survey um, for uh, Lake Restoration Solutions. So now we've got the de cable deployed behind us, so we're dragging essentially uh, uh, two current electrodes and eight pairs of voltage measurement electrodes on that cable. So every time we can hear the beep of the machine behind us, it's essentially taking a new measurement. So what we're actually looking at is the colored dots represent our eight voltage measurements going deeper down. So this is essentially you know, going deeper down in depth. So we can see you know, it's pretty low resistance, high conductivity, and the first layer, which is essentially the water layer. And then it gets higher in resistance as we go down through the sediments, deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, this also allows us to see the information coming in about the boat speed from the GPS, tells us the water temperature from the depth sounder, and also gives us the water depth, you know, the depth to the bottom of the lake here as well, um, used from a depth sounder on the back. So essentially, we just follow a nice pre-programmed track across the lake. It gives us our location, you know, allows uh, Jim here to uh, follow our nice blue line that we've pre-programmed in. And then we just, you know, keep steaming across. So There's uh, pretty much at like two miles an hour. Uh, it takes us a few hours to get back and forth across the lake. We'll keep gridding, you know, in this fashion until we've completed down to the south end of the lake here. We're making thousand foot distances between each track and going all the way across. The, but we're doing that at two miles an hour. A human walks about four miles an hour. So this is a little like walking to California and halfway back as slow as you can walk. That's a challenge. <laughs> this cable that we're dragging at the moment was uh, specifically designed and built for a, a survey we did on the Panama Canal expansion back in the you know, 2008, 2009 timeframe. So that was the same thing. We literally, we were surveying the length of the canal, you know, helping, you know, uh, generate a map of the subsurface along that route just to help with their dredging activities. Yeah, we've, we've done sort of these kind of uh, surveys before, and you know, like I say, Panama Canal has been expanded and, you know, uh, everything's, uh, you know, working as it's designed to, so it certainly can be done. Having lived here, uh, you know, most of my life and being very familiar with the lake, and continuing conditions that we're having with the droughts and uh, the increased water needs of the uh, people uh, as the uh, areas and communities grow. I think that this lake will uh, get lower and lower and lower and become a, uh, a real problem to uh, maintain. And uh, we're losing a vast resource and that's what's continuing. But with the technology we have and if it's properly applied, properly done, I think uh, taking this lake down to a reasonable depth uh, will really, really uh, benefit uh, mankind in the way of uh, preserving the water, making it more useful, 